Pradeep, you've lived in the mountains for many years now. But when did you first fall in love and feel connected with the mountains? I think it was back in college because lots of my friends used to talk about trekking the mountains, Himalayas, and there were so many stories. So that was a bit fascinating for me. But you know, it took me some time to fall in love with the mountains because from a distance everything seems very good. But when you start mm-hmm. going into the mountains, start living there, you start trekking, then you realize there are so many difficulties related to the local lifestyle, livelihood, and things like that. I remember last time we spoke, you told us uh, this story of 15-day trek that you went on. (laughs) And uh, that is when you really started feeling connected with the mountains. Yeah, actually, one of my friends, he suggested me that, you know, let's do something crazy. Hmm. (laughs) So we started trekking from uh, Manali. Then we did a pass. It's called Hamta Pass. Very beautiful, very scenic uh, pass. And uh, then uh, we had to reach this beautiful lake called Chandatal Lake. And from Chandatal, we had to trek down to Surastal Lake. So and it was a tricky part because we were were just two of us. And uh, we had to carry almost about 20 kilograms each. Uh, because we had uh, our luggage, we had uh, food, we had uh, tents, we had sleeping bags, mats, and ice, ice axe also, rope also to cross the river. So there was so many, so many things around our shoulders. Hmm. And in the first day, we did about 35 kilometers. Wow. Wow. We, uh, we we met a few shepherds also along the way and uh, they always invited us for a cup of tea and that was a sort of luxury for us, you know, cup of tea at that altitude and <laughs> to, made by somebody else. So <laughs> that was fun. When you say at that altitude, how high up, how high up were you? Uh, that was about uh, 4,800 meters. So somewhere around uh, 15,000 feet. It, it was very dry also, like there are no trees around there because the landscape changes beyond 3,000 meters. You trek through the tree line, then the meadows and then the mm-hmm. uh, a rocky patch, just pure mountains and nothing else. Right. So that's where it's most difficult because the amount of oxygen drops down to a significant level and uh, and you have to track and track and track. So anyway, hmm. so we started interacting with these shepherds and they were kind enough to offer us tea. And uh, there are hardly any trackers. So they were quite welcoming uh, just to see us that, you know, come and stay with us. We'll offer you food and lots of stories also. But we had a target in our head and that we had to reach, reach to this uh, particular uh, destination. And, uh, so the point where we had to reach Tokpo Yongma. So big river in uh, Tibetan language is called Tokpo Yongma. Okay. And the next morning we had to cross it. So after trekking 35 uh, kilometers in a day, the next morning we were like completely jammed. <laughs> and uh, and it was also raining. We were very surprised to see that it was raining in that area because uh, there's hardly any rain because Spiti is a cold desert. It's just snowfall or nothing. Okay. But uh, in last 10 years, the whole uh, weather pattern has changed and it has started raining a lot. Because of that rain, we were not able to cross that river in the morning. And uh, we were so disappointed. But uh, there are no choices when, uh, you know, nature has decided something that you can't can't really fight with nature. So we thought that there were so many shepherds, they were calling for us and they were like, you know, come down and uh, stay with us. So why not just utilize this opportunity and stay with them for a uh, few days. Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, we also broke our stove. So we were not able to cook anything. So we just had chocolates. So I went to this, uh, the very nearest shepherd, uh, there were two guys, uh, Hans Raj and Bharu. Okay. Then uh, I asked them, you know, uh, boss, we're really hungry, man. Just give us <laughs> something to eat, anything that you have. He uh, got us uh, kadi chawal. Okay. I can't tell you, I ate a lot of food in a lot of places, but I the best kadi chawal in the world. I still relish that uh, taste in my mouth. Mountain Master Chef. Mountain Master Chef.